Hello everyone, my name is Dave Weiss. I'm a flutist here in Brooklyn, New York. I work in New York City for theater, film, and television, and I'm here today to tell you about the Kingma family of flutes, specifically the alto flute. I also have a Kingma bass flute here and a Kingma contra bass flute. Uh, I've been playing the Kingma flutes for roughly 12 years now, about 11, 12 years. That's uh, 2009 was the first time I played one. And I just find that they're fabulous instruments uh, for professionals or for amateurs. It's just probably the best made flute you're going to find on the planet. Um, as far as the alto goes I have here today, this is a open hole alto. And if you might be wondering if you're a flutist, what's all this stuff? Well, this is a membrane attachment that gets a very unique and buzzy sound that I'll be demonstrating in a minute. Um, these flutes are of the, the highest quality and uh, are really a pleasure to play. They feel very comfortable in your hand. Uh, they're very well in tune. They're brilliantly designed. Uh, and uh, above all, they just sound beautiful, and that's why I play them. So let's dive into the alto and talk about the alto for a second. Now, traditional altos are closed hole, but this alto, very unique design, is open hole. Now, hopefully the camera isn't flaring now too much. And you can see those open holes, right? Yep, you can see. Let me just twist it around. I'm looking to the camera now. There's the G. You can see the G and the A and everything. Um, and you notice on the D, there's there's a plug. You know, I twist that so we can see it. Eh, it's kind of hard. There we go. I can see, see it now. Uh, there's a plug on the D. So you can order an open hole instrument, but also have all the holes plugged. And depending on what your application is, you can, uh, you know, have some of the holes open, some of them closed. Uh, uh, I think that for contemporary music, for modern music, uh, having an open holes is uh, having the open holes is really terrific. It allows you to slide, slip and slide a little bit, multiphonics, double stops, that whole thing. In my case, I play more world music and popular music styles where I do a lot of bending and I play in the cracks a little bit, so to speak. So that's what's really great about having an open hole flute like this. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is just the mechanism is actually much quieter because there's less rods. There's uh, the open hole system, everything's a bit more direct, so you don't have as many rods going up, especially in the left hand. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the center of gravity is much further down the tube. It's everything is further down, so the center of gravity is much more to your right. So it's it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I most certainly did get used to it very fast, and I really love this instrument. So now I'd like to talk about the membrane head for a second. Now let me zero in on this, send it into the camera here a little bit, and uh, hopefully again it's the light's not glaring too much on it. But you can see it; it's quite the mechanism, and a very low tech way of activating it is this. Uh, this string here, which you pull with your right thumb. And uh, it's really quite ingenious. It, it seems to me that it's uh, inspired by Chinese flute, diitsu, which my friends from China tell me that's the way you pronounce it. I'm probably wrong, but that's it. It's usually spelled D-I-Z-I, -I, but they, my friends from Shanghai say diitsu. So I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of letters about that. Um, <laughs> OK, but you can see it's closed now. I'll just play for a second. And then when I pull to my right a little bit, it opens up the lever. You can probably see that a little bit there. And then the membrane is allowed to vibrate. So you get an idea of what this is about. And there are set screws up there. There you go. You see all those set screws there. And you can change the amount of buzziness. I'm going to make it really open, and then you can really hear it. You know, so that's if you had a specific application and you wanted to use it for that buzziness, you have a lot of leeway from that being rather extreme to what I was doing to being somewhat in the middle and then very mild sort of uh, buzziness to the sound. It's really a unique sound and I've used it on a few uh, film and commercial soundtracks so far, even though it's a, it's a fairly new invention as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you like uh, what you're checking out here, please check out the other videos on my channel. You'll see there are several other uh, 
uh, videos devoted to the Kingma flute. There's a Kingma flute a uh, bass flute video and a contra. There should be two of there actually by the time this is done. And uh, I hope you get a chance to enjoy those. Thanks again for coming by. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah.